Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the concept of effective mass. So effective mass from the bond model we know that if we draw the bond model so this is the bond model at every cross section there is a silicon atom Now, if I increase the temperature to some certain value, then some of the bonds in the silicon atom will be broken. So, let us assume that this bond has been broken. So, there was an electron here and this electron has came outside this bond and become a free electron and in the place of the electron there is a hole has been created. Now there is also an electron here, there is also some electrons will be here. Now if I apply some potential across this semiconductor, suppose I have applied a positive potential here and negative potential here, then with the influence of this external electric field the hole or the electron this bound electron so this is the bound electron and this is the free electron and this is the hole now with the application of this electric field this bound electron we will try to move in this direction towards the positive terminal. So, within this direction, this bound electron will see a vacancy of electron that is a hole. So, it will go into this hole and the hole will come at this position. So, now this bound electron will come here and there will be a hole created inside this position. So, as we see that with the application of the external field, the bound electrons are moving and taking the position of holes that means ultimately the holes are moving in the negative potential direction or we can say that the movement of the holes is nothing but the movement of the bound electron. So, we can say that the free electron is moving in the positive terminal direction since these are free electron so the velocity of the free electron will be greater than than the velocity of the bound electron and velocity of the bound electron is nothing but the velocity of the holes so we can say that the velocity of the free electron will be greater than the velocity of the holes 
Now, this is an important information that the velocity of the free electrons is greater than the velocity of holes. That is why the mobility value of the free electron that is mu n will be greater than the mobility value of the holes that is mu p. Now, this information is incorporated inside the calculation of semiconductor by means of masses. That is, we will assume that the mass of the hole will greater than the mass of the electrons that is the free electrons. So, that is why since the mass of the hole is greater than the mass of the free electron that is why the hole is moving with less velocity than the free electron that is the velocity of the holes will be less than the velocity of the free electron. So, the information that is the velocity of the electron is greater than the velocity of the hole has been replaced by this assumption that the mass of the hole is greater than the mass of the free electron. So, this mass is called the effective mass of the particle. And this effective mass is denoted by M E. So, the effective mass M E will be equals to some constant into rest mass that is M 0. So, we can say that the effective mass for the electron is less than the effective mass of the holes that is why the velocity of the electron that is the free electron is greater than the velocity of the holes. So, this is all about this effective mass concept. Thank you.